How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rap City. Today I just want to show you two possible entries that you could have taken um, only using your Fibonacci. Now it has come to my attention that a lot of guys do not know how to use your Fib or the Fibonacci and uh, especially when it comes to forex trading and it is such a powerful tool to use um, uh, while you are trading and during your trading and it will definitely help you with your entries and also exit points and which I will show you just now. Uh, before we hit the charts, just go visit my website. It's on the bottom left corner over here where you can find previous analysis, previous videos, previous strategies. Just doesn't matter what you're looking for. Just go visit my website. There's lots of trading material that you can find on there. And also um, my preferred brokers. These guys are excellent, excellent, excellent when it comes to brokers. So let us hit the charts. So again, we're focusing on just the Fibonacci. There's two methods that I trade. I use the fair value gap, especially when it comes to um, trading forex currencies, um, and then the Fibonacci. It is really such a powerful tool. Now, if we look at the Euro USD dollar, this is the hour time frame. Okay, I'm just concentrating on the hour time frame, and I'm going to drill down to a very low time frame of the five minutes. Okay, people throw away the five minute time frame, never go there. They're scared of the movement, and all that, but it tells you a lot about what's happening in the market. So looking at the hourly time frame on Euro, this was basically the beginning of the week. So ending of the week, marking our two areas um, of where I want price to go. So as we can see, the week basically opened up with a huge gap. Okay, so just zooming in a little bit, well, just keep it like that. So week um, opening with a nice little gap and then price going below this marked area that I've highlighted. This is our previous low that we were looking at. So price just tapping into that low and then we saw price coming up. So whenever price goes below a low, okay, look, it's not always gonna happen. Sometimes it will just carry on, but there's usually a retracement that happens, all right? So with the retracement, the way to measure that retracement where price goes back up again and then carry on downwards, you take your Fibonacci. It's just easy, guys. You take your Fibonacci and, you know, it might sound simple, but you always use it from the left to the right. Okay, that's how you draw it. If it is in a downwards movement, you draw it from the top to the bottom, from the swing high to the swing low. If you're going this way, you drink from a swing low to a swing high. So in this instance, price tapped into liquidity that was below this marked out area. This was the previous low that we were looking at. So price tapped into that liquidity, then it started retracing up again. So how do you measure it? You take your Fibonacci from that tip of that wick, okay, to the tip of this wick at the bottom. So I don't use, I don't, a lot of guys, they measure it from body to body. I don't do that. I use it from the very high of those candles and the very low of those candles. That way, that is where price went to. And as we can see, price, let me just move it to the side, retraced again to the 62% area. Okay, that is the area that you are waiting for. Okay, price retraces back to those areas and that is where you start selling. Okay, when price is going down, retracing up, you sell off from the 62% downwards. If it was the other way around, which I will show you just now, because the Fibonacci, you swing it both ways. Even if it's in a, if it, if it's in a higher time frame, and a downtrend on a higher time frame, you can catch the swing up. Okay, so I'm marking out this area. Okay, so now price is in this area over here. It started moving up. You pull your Fibonacci. Price still needs to retrace back to that area. So. A lot of times I've said to a lot of different traders, why do you always just wait, especially when you're trading higher time frames, why do you wait until price gets to that area? Why don't you just trade it when it gets that, to that area? Okay, so you can buy up and then sell down again. Okay, you don't have to just sit and wait for price to get there. So I've put my Fibonacci in now, I've highlighted on the higher time frame. That is the, the price or the area that I want price to go to. Okay, this is price action. You want price to go to that area and then you want to sell it off. So it's, a, it's, it's just looking at where price is going. Then I'm going to skip all the other time frame. I'm just going to go to the five minutes. Okay, just zooming in a bit or zooming out a bit. So as you can see, 
this was our our previous low area that we marked out in the market okay you guys can remember the little gap that was opened okay the gap opened the market and then price started tapping into liquidity at the bottom here as you can see it stepped into liquidity and then we see that price went up again it bounced and it went up into that area again above the liquidity so you can see the price turning and moving up again and then as soon as price as you can see your um, this was your previous low and as soon as you saw price breaking that area again that structure area in the market okay this was a nice area of structure I'm not going to draw this up there's a nice area there but as soon as you saw price going up now you have marked out I'm just zooming out a little bit so there's your area that you've marked out so you want price you want price to go to that area before you sell off okay does it make sense so why not trade that up and then trade that down like I've just said so how you do that is you look for this structure again in the market so you've drawn this area this was the low price go into the liquidity and then it started moving up and as soon as price broke that area again look at this it broke that area back up again coming back and then started moving up so what do you do you take out your Fibonacci from that low to that swing high it's as easy as that guys the low of the candles just before that break you saw price breaking up into that area okay breaking that structure again there price retracing back to the 62 percent to six to 79 percent area and then you buy bam so now that you've bought there where do you exit where's your exit now after you've bought your exit will be up here because this is where you've earmarked on a higher time frame where price is heading it's as simple as that guys so just zooming out just to show you so instead of just waiting for price to get there you buy right there you buy you exit right around there so you're looking at a 68 almost 70 pip entry that you could have caught okay that's as simple as that now you go to the hour time frame you are in this buy okay you in this buy up where it um, basically ran around here where price broke again you buying up let me just mark it out for you again you're buying that 60 pip, 60 odd pips up and then once price gets to that marked out area that's the area that you sell and you wait for confirmation for sell and you're selling down another 94 pips so it's over 100 and odd pips that you over 150 pips basically that you could have caught in one simple move on a higher time frame a retracement of the Fibonacci where you are waiting for your sell area but you're buying it up and this is only using the Fibonacci guys so please learn how to use the Fibonacci if you do not know and like I said I'm putting some links in the, in my description um, of my previous videos I did on Fibonacci just explaining a little bit more and if you still don't understand please comment in the comment section let me help you let me help you figure out how to use the Fibonacci a lot of times I explain it in a way that you don't understand you I, I do get that different um, different guys you know teaches different methods but trust me as soon as you realize how to use your Fibonacci your trading life and your um, uh, uh, your way of trading and the amount of pips that you're gonna make and your entries and your exits all of that is gonna just become a lot better so guys this is a nice little short video and it's all I wanted to just show you um, I hope you really enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to hit the, hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell there's definitely more videos coming your way and guys I really hope you've been having a wonderful week stay safe and happy trading guys